Let's create volunteer jobs in the Nonprofit Success Pack using Volunteers for Salesforce. A job simply represents a project or task that a volunteer can help with. We can think about the job as a position or role our volunteer fills, like canned goods sorter, and not the sorting of canned goods on Tuesday. These jobs can be ongoing or can be for a specific event. Let's say we're having a fundraising event. For the event, we create two jobs, greet guests and write thank you letters. Each of these jobs is attached to a specific volunteer campaign. To create a job, we select and open our volunteer campaign. And in the related list, volunteer jobs, we select new. We'll enter the name of our job. Notice that the campaign's name is pre-populated. Our fundraising event occurs only once, so we will not check ongoing job. Keep in mind that this checkbox is mostly for reporting purposes and checking it does not have any automated benefits. Volunteers for Salesforce enables us to let volunteers sign up for jobs through our organization's website. Please note, this is possible only if we've completed the website integration steps in the setup guide. If integrated, the remaining fields on the jobs page layout will be displayed on our website if we select display on website. If we do decide to display the job on our website, let's not forget to select the appropriate time zone if we use multiple time zones. If our jobs are always in our default time zone, we may leave this field blank. Select the skills that a volunteer would need to undertake specific tasks and activities from the skills needed multi-select pick list. By doing so, we can seamlessly match volunteers with jobs that are relevant to their skill set. Next, enter a description for the job. Make it captivating so that potential volunteers will be interested when viewing our website. This is a rich text field and you can include formatting, links, and even photos. The location information can be displayed as a map on our website after setting up additional integrations with Google Maps. Let's write any additional instructions about the location in the location information field to help volunteers find us. For example, we could provide parking instructions or tell folks to meet us on the third floor. Select Save. To create our next job, we can clone and edit the first job, or click the new button again from the related list on the campaign. After we create jobs, we can optionally create shifts to go with each job. Shifts are not required on jobs that don't have a schedule. For example, drop-in office help may not have shifts, but you can still log volunteer hours against that job. Based on the skills that we chose, we can assign a volunteer to specific jobs and shifts. Learn more about that process in the Nonprofit Success Pack documentation. Thank you for watching.